Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will tell you about mixed dentition analysis or space analysis in mixed dentition using Moyer's prediction method. As we already know, the aim of space analysis is to find out arch length discrepancy, which is space available minus space required. In space required, we have to measure the mesodistal width of each permanent tooth. But in mixed dentition, permanent canines and premolars are unerupted. So Moyer's prediction method will help in predicting mesodistal width of unerupted canines and premolars using the width of erupted mandibular incisors. Now I will show you how to perform mixed dentition analysis on this cast using Moyer's prediction method. First, I will find mesodistal width of mandibular incisors. Width of mandibular left lateral incisor is 7 millimeters. Width of mandibular left central incisor is 6 millimeters. Width of mandibular right central incisor is 6 millimeters. Width of mandibular right lateral incisor is 6 millimeters. Now we will add them up and write the sum here, which is 25 millimeters, and here. Then we will put the sum in Moyes prediction table. According to this table, predicted width of mandibular permanent premolars and canines is 23.4 mm. Write this here. For one side and here for the other side. Add widths of mandibular incisors and widths of mandibular canines and premolars to find out space required. 25 plus 23.4 plus 23.4 is equal to 71.8 millimeters. This is our space required. Write it down here as well. Now to find out space available, we will add length of segments. As you already know, space available is arch perimeter taken in segments. My first segment is Twenty four millimeters. Second segment is ten point five millimeters. Remember to stay in the center of the arch. Don't go too lingual or too buccal, irrespective of tooth position. Third segment is eight point five millimeters. And fourth segment is 24 millimeters. Add these segments and you will get your space available, which is 67 millimeters. Write it here. Arch length discrepancy of this cast is 67 minus 
71.8 which is equal to minus 4.8 millimeters for this cast it's minus 4.8 millimeter crowding in mandibular arch for maxilla same procedure is repeated you have to make a correction in your log books instead of maxillary incisors write down mandibular incisors here and here remember the width of lower incisors is used for prediction of both upper and lower canines and premolar teeth 